Hello everybody. On the night of April the 14th, 1912, the Titanic, the most famous liner on the planet, sank in the middle of the ocean. The giant luxurious ship collided with an iceberg during its first cruise, which caused the death of approximately 1,500 passengers. More than a century has passed since the catastrophe, but the story of the Titanic still hides many secrets and mysterious facts, and to uncover them, we'll have to follow the entire path of the liner, from the construction process to the shipwreck and even a little further. Ready? Then let's get it on. The Titanic was a huge, spectacular ship that was supposed to travel across the Atlantic between the UK and the US. It took more than two and a half years to build, which is no surprise. To create a comfortable vessel capable of accommodating almost 2,500 people is not a piece of cake. The Titanic had eight decks, an incredible number for that time. In addition, more than three million iron and steel rivets were used for its construction, most of which were made and placed by hand. The parts weighed more than 1,200 tons and were highly durable. A true monster in its days, the Titanic was assembled at a shipyard in Belfast. The building process took a lot of time, and launching the huge vessel wasn't an easy task either. At first, the scaffolding was dismantled. Then the weight of the unfinished ship was transferred to the hydraulic levers, after which the supports and stands were removed from under the bottom, and then wooden rails were attached to the ship. At the end of this operation, the launchway was thoroughly lubricated, and we mean very thoroughly. It took 23 tons of locomotive oil, fish oil, and liquid soap to launch this large vessel. The Titanic was not only huge, but also designed to be as safe as possible for the passengers. The designers gave the ship a double bottom, and the hull was divided into 16 waterproof compartments with 15 bulkheads built crosswise. The bulkheads gave the hull transverse strength so that it wouldn't accidentally, you know, break. They were made from steel sheets joined together with rivets, and the seams were also sealed with resin to achieve absolute tightness. The compartments were connected by airtight doors. Some of the bulkheads were continuous. Overall, the Titanic was supposed to be unsinkable, but sadly, that did not save it from the tragedy. Despite the careful preparation for the first trip, there were no binoculars on board. Just imagine sailing across the Atlantic without binoculars. Well, actually, there were binoculars on the ship, of course, but something went wrong. A sailor named David Blair was supposed to be on the cruise, but at the last moment was excluded from the list. When Blair left the Titanic on April 9th, 1912, he accidentally took the key to the binocular locker. According to other versions, the binoculars were in Blair's cabin, or he took them with him. Researchers believe that the absence of binoculars was one of the reasons for the disaster. The shipwreck occurred on the night of April the 14th, 1912. Today, the exact timeline of that day has been restored. For example, it's known that the crews of the other liners transmitted reports that there were many icebergs in the way of the ship, but the Titanic ignored these warnings. They supposedly didn't reach the crew. Why? Well, there's a very simple and even sad explanation for this. The Titanic radio operators were hired by the Marconi company and were not members of the crew. Their main duty on board was sending telegrams of the wealthy passengers and receiving the latest news from the continent, which were then published in the ship's newspaper. So, information about the weather or some icebergs wasn't that relevant for them. Meanwhile, there were really wealthy passengers aboard the Titanic. Among them was Margaret Brown, later known as the unsinkable Molly. She was a very wealthy woman. She worked in charity and fought for women's rights. Margaret bought a ticket for the Titanic simply because she needed to get to her sick grand grandson in New York as soon as possible. When the vessel hit the iceberg, this strong lady didn't give in to panic and even helped to seat people on boats. When she was finally forced to evacuate, she grabbed a paddle and tried to convince everyone to return to the ship to save even more people. The lifeboat crew members didn't appreciate her speech, and Margaret threatened to throw him overboard. Once on the ship Carpathia, the lady continued her vigorous activity, giving out essential articles to other survivors while comforting them 
them and giving them advice. Another famous passenger of the Titanic was businessman Benjamin Guggenheim. He put his partner in a lifeboat, convincing her that they would see each other soon and that the ship simply needed to be repaired, although he was well aware that the situation was hopeless. Together with the valet, Guggenheim helped evacuate the women and children, then returned to his cabin and changed into his evening wear. A weird decision during a shipwreck, right? Well, after that, the businessman sat down at a table in the central hall and started drinking whiskey. When someone offered to try to escape, Guggenheim replied, We've dressed up in our best and are prepared to go down like gentlemen. The liner was also drowning to the sounds of music. You must have heard the story. Unlike the passengers and the crew, the orchestra stood on deck until the last moment and played Nearer My God to Thee. This is the song that Vera Dick, a first-class passenger, mentioned in her memoirs, as well as several other survivors. However, there are other versions. Some claim that it was the song Autumn, although it's not clear which autumn exactly. According to another version, they were just some cheerful melodies to avoid people from panicking or thinking about death. The iceberg that caused the catastrophe was actually photographed. On the morning of April the 15th, 1912, an unknown photographer captured a huge block of ice with his camera. But how do we know that this was the iceberg that caused the Titanic shipwreck? Despite being a black and white image, you can see a dark spot on the iceberg. In reality, it was a red spot left by the Titanic during the collision. After the catastrophe, when everyone was mourning, people realized that the items related to the Titanic were very valuable. For example, an unused ticket for the launching ceremony of the ship was auctioned off at a London auction for $56,300. A menu on board the liner with a list of 40 dishes was sold in New York for $31,300. Another similar menu was sold in London for £76,000. The keys to the ship's cabin, which contained the lifeboat lanterns, were also preserved and sold for £59,000. Not surprisingly, everyone who went down down to the bottom to see the sunken liner was trying to steal something from there. However, first of all, such dives had a scientific purpose. Russian deep-sea submersibles Mir-1 and Mir-2 dived in the 90s to reach the ship, which is now at a depth of 3.8 kilometers. Then the devices recorded a video which was included in the famous film by James Cameron. By the way, the director was also on board and dived to the Titanic as many as 12 times. To film the liner, a unique underwater camera system was developed. These shots were later included in the film. The the Titanic catastrophe was famous on its own, but Cameron's film made it known all over the world. The picture had a huge budget at the time and was a phenomenal success, grossing $2,187,463,944 back in 1997. On April the 5th, 2012, in the year of the 100th anniversary of the legendary catastrophe, the Titanic premiered in 3D and IMAX 3D, and in 2017, the the film was included in the US National Film Register. Meanwhile, Jack Dawson, the protagonist of the film, who brought Cameron fame and wealth, is actually a real character. Of course, he didn't look like DiCaprio, and the fate of the real Jack was different, but still, the real Dawson, who, by the way, was called Joseph, was a stoker on the Titanic, and of course, died in the wreck. For many years, he was just another victim of the disaster, until Cameron's film came out. And although the director himself claimed that he made up the name, that didn't stop the fans from visiting the grave of the real Dawson. Today, the Titanic, or rather what's left of it, is considered a UNESCO cultural heritage site. It took a hundred years for the ship to get this status, but these are the rules. Now the Titanic is officially under protection, and it's forbidden by law to take parts of it as souvenirs. But even after so many years, the famous liner is still being talked about. For example, fans of mysticism point to the fact that back in 1898, the writer Morgan Robertson wrote the novel Futility, 
about a huge transatlantic liner. There are a lot of coincidences in the story, such as the name of the ship, Titan, and a collision with an iceberg on a cold April night. However, Robertson denied having any psychic abilities, but the readers didn't care. Another legend says that once every six years, radio operators catch an SOS ghost signal from the Titanic. This was first announced by the crew of the USS Theodore Roosevelt in 1972. The radio operator dug through the archives and found notes from his colleagues that they had received strange radiograms, allegedly from the Titanic, once about every six years. Of course, there is no evidence of this, but hey, legend is legend. By the way, it's not the most ridiculous story out there. Although the official version says the Titanic was sunk by an iceberg, not everyone believes it. For example, some people claim that the liner was punched by a German torpedo. which was released by the company that built the ship to get the insurance money. This one is way crazier, right? By the way, the Titanic wasn't the only major White Star Line ship. There was also the Olympic and the Britannic. The first one, having worked for many years, was decommissioned and disassembled due to old age. The second one, after the beginning of the war, was transformed into a hospital and soon exploded near Greece because of a mine. However, unlike the Titanic, most people managed to escape. Over a hundred years have passed since the shipwreck of the Titanic. The remains of the huge liner are slowly crumbling on the ocean floor under the influence of salt water and sea creatures, and in 2009, the last passenger of the famous ship died. At the time of the crash, Milvina Dean was only two and a half months old, but she managed to live to 97 years old. Sadly, although she may have been the last living witness of the disaster, Milvina did not remember the Titanic at all. One night, Sam was falling asleep in front of the screen, when suddenly, suddenly, something went wrong! Oh no, he's been caught by Iron Man's suit, and now a portal has opened and Sam ended up inside a huge robot. Missiles, explosions, Sam falls through a time portal and... Oh, phew. Do you want to experience something similar? Then come and meet us. Don't fall asleep like Sam. Subscribe to TechZone.